20 years. It's been 20 years since the first Pokemon games, guys, which if you think about it, is pretty incredible. There aren't many video games out there that can boast the same success as the Pokemon franchise over such a long period of time. For 20 years, we as Pokemon fans have been spoiled with amazing games, be it main series installments like Red and Blue, or awesome spin-offs like Colosseum and the Mystery Dungeon games. So of course, to honor their anniversary, the Pokemon company has got some pretty special things planned for this year. For starters, Nintendo recently announced a new 3DS Pokemon Red and Blue bundle that will include a Red and Blue version styled 3DS as well as a copy of Red and Blue pre-installed for you to play on the 3DS. The bundle drops on February 27th and will be priced somewhere between $200 and $250 in all likelihood. I'll leave a link to the article I got this from down below in case you guys are interested in more order related details. Next. Let's go ahead and talk about the Pokemon games that are scheduled for release this year and there's actually quite a bit of interesting stuff to look forward to. First of all, we of course have the digital version of Red, Blue, and Yellow being released for the 3DS on February 27th, which I'm going to sort of skim over this year because there isn't really too much to speculate on since we already know what to expect from these games. What's more interesting to consider though is Pokemon Go because Pokemon Go is something completely new and I think we're all pretty eager to see just how it does. With regards to a release date, all we know so far is that it's going to be released sometime in 2016, but we haven't technically gotten an official announcement yet, so the exact day of the year is pretty much anyone's guess at this point. I will say, however, that in all likelihood it's going to be sometime early in the year, and the reason I say this is the way Nintendo has been advertising and discussing Pokemon Go hints pretty strongly at a release date sometime within the next few months. So my prediction is that Pokemon Go will come out at least before the month of May. As for details on the game, basically Pokemon Go is an augmented reality game for mobile platforms like Android and iOS that will allow players to capture, train, and trade virtual Pokemon that appear all around the real world. Also, it's important to note that the game will be free to play, which is nice, but it will have in-app purchases, which while slightly annoying as it means in all likelihood to really get an edge in the game, you're going to have to buy stuff, but it's much better than charging a price just to play the game. Finally, with regards to my predictions for Pokemon Go, the bottom line is I think it's a great idea and could turn out pretty amazing if executed well, but if executed poorly, it's going to end up being a huge flop. Pokemon Go is totally a hit or miss idea, and it really all depends on how well developer Niantic executes their plan for this game. It could go down as a monumental failure just as easily as it could go down as a great success. So because of this, I'm super excited for the game, but I'm trying to keep my expectations for it pretty reasonable. The next big game that's coming out in 2016 is Pokken Tournament, which is an arcade style fighting type game based on the Pokemon series. Now I'm not sure about you guys, but from what I've seen of this game, it looks very cool and I'm actually kind of excited for it. Besides just having a really cool concept in general, Pokken Tournament was actually already released for Japanese arcades and developer Bandai took a lot of suggestions made by fans to heart and it seems like they've done a lot to fix the issues initially present in the game. Unlike Pokemon Go, this game has been tested quite a bit, which means it's probably going to be executed fairly well. So while my hype isn't as much as it would be for say a main series Pokemon game, I'm still very interested to see how Pokemon Tournament does. Finally, while we haven't gotten an official release date for North America or Europe yet, the game is going to be released to Wii U sometime in spring of 2016. Alright, and then of course we need to talk about Pokemon Z or whatever the sequel game to X and Y is going to be called, since while it hasn't been officially confirmed for 2016, there's a very high chance that it's going to be released sometime this year. I've already discussed the subject more than enough in previous videos, so all I'll say here is that there's never, not even once, been more than a two year gap between main series Pokemon games, and if Pokemon Z weren't released this year, that would be a three year gap between Oras and Z. This, alongside other information, has come very close to guaranteeing us a 2016 release date for Pokemon Z. And judging by Nintendo's past behavior with regards to release dates, Pokemon Z is in all likelihood coming out in fall of 2016. If Pokemon Z does end up being announced for this year, then it's definitely going to be the Pokemon product that I'm the most excited for. For one, I'm super hyped to see what they do with Zygarde, and for two, seeing as how they changed the storyline pretty considerably for Black and White 2, I'm looking at them to do something similar with Pokemon Z. Finally, I'm definitely interested in seeing what new Mega Evolutions they introduce, since I've had a feeling for the longest time that Game Freak is saving some of their best Megas for last with the release of Pokemon Z. And that pretty much does it for the games to look forward to in 2016, so let's go ahead and move on to something a little bit different here. For those of you who haven't heard about it yet, starting in February, Game Freak is going to be distributing legendary event Pokemon on a monthly basis. 
I'll go ahead and flash the list of Pokemon as well as the dates that are available on the screen for you guys right now. The Pokemon they're distributing include Mew for the month of February, Celebi for the month of March, Jirachi, one of my personal favorites on this list for the month of April, Darkrai, another personal favorite for the month of May, Manaphy for the month of June, Shaman for the month of July, Arceus for the month of August, which by the way is the best month of the year, Victini for the month of September, Keldeo for the month of October, Genesec for the month of November, and finally another one of my favorites in Meloetta for the month of December. Not sure about you guys, but I am insanely excited for a few of these since some of the Pokemon listed haven't been given away since way back in Gen 4. Moving on, let's go ahead and talk some Pokemon TCG news since we're actually getting some pretty cool stuff with regards to that in commemoration of Pokemon's 20th anniversary. The first and most important thing is TCG Generations, which is an expansion to the training card game that is going to be released on the 22nd of February. The expansion includes over 110 cards, the second Radiant Collection, which is a 32 card subset with unique art, 16 Pokemon EX cards, including 4 Mega Evolution Pokemon, and online code cards and special Pokemon TCG collections. Additionally, 11 different mythical Pokemon collections are going to be released during the year, a different one for each month, and each collection features a different Pokemon card, including Pokemon like Mew, Jirachi, Celebi, Manaphy, and much more. Finally, to list off a couple of smaller things the Pokemon Company has planned, the Pokemon movies are going to be digitally remastered and released, a Pokemon Trainer Red action figure is going to be released, and tons more special Pokemon merchandise will be available on PokemonCenter.com. So in sum, it's going to be a pretty awesome year for Pokemon, which is making me really excited as a Pokemon fan. Well, alright folks, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Pokemon content in the future. Also, be sure to let me know what you guys are most excited about for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon down below in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.